Hi guys, so welcome to part 3 of the Snorlax Lumigurumi tutorial. In this part we'll be making his feet, his face and his head. So um, to make his feet or his legs, you'll need three colours. One of them is a dark, um, let me just show you on this. One of them is this dark, darker colour on his foot, so like his uh, paw pad or something. <clears throat> and then the next one will be the colour that you used for his skin colour or like a light brown. And also you'll be needing his body colour. So in my case for this tutorial, it's a teal. So let's get started. First of all, you want to start with your darker colour, your darker brown. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Coco, Coco bands for this. So you'll need a magic ring with uh, eight stitches. So once again, just wrap your band around your hook twice to create three loops. My first stitch of uh, the magic ring will be a slip stitch. So just pull that through everything. Alright, so you need another seven single crochets. So put your hook back through the middle. So this is your first stitch. I'm just going to count up to eight. All single crochets from now on. So this is two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and last stitch, eight. Okay, so you completed your magic ring, your second round of his foot. Um, has 16 stitches so you want to increase in each one of the stitches so it's just two single crochets in each stitch so put your hook through the first stitch and you're going to do a slip knot first so pull this through everything put a stitch marker go back through the same stitch do single crochet and now you just want to do two single crochets in each stitch. So moving on to the next one. Back through the same stitch. Next one. Same stitch. As you can see, I can move a little bit faster with the original bands because they're quite easy to do loomy groomy with. They're not sticky. Well, the opaque ones are not. <clears throat> and they're not oily, so they're really, really good for doing this. So, next one. If I'm going too fast, um, just know that you just need to do two single crochets in each stitch. Should have done this many times before if you followed the tutorial uh, part by part, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so this is the last increase. Okay, so this is your round two completed. So you need for round three, you need 24 stitches. So that's just a single crochet in the first stitch. And then you do an increase, which is two single crochets in the next stitch. And you do that all the way around. So through your first stitch again, one single crochet. Next stitch has an increase. Once again, one single crochet. Next one has an increase.
Next one, one single crochet. Next stitch increase. Then next one, single crochet. Next stitch increase. Next one, single crochet. Next one, increase. Next one, single crochet. Next one, increase. Single crochet. This one increase. Okay, then single crochet. And last stitch increase. Okay, so that's your round three done. So your next round has 32 stitches, so this is round four. So it's a single crochet in the first two stitches and an increase in the next one. And you do that all the way around. So I'll be counting one, two, and increase. Uh, one, two, three. Just as a note, before you do your last stitch, you'll be changing color. So um, I'll show you in a bit. So one, two, next stitch increase, again, one, next one, two, then next stitch increase. Okay, next one. One. Next one. Two. And next one increase. Okay, again, one, next one, two, next one increase, next one, one, next one, Two. Next one, increase. Next one. One. And two. And increase. One, one, next one, two, next one, increase, next one, 
Okay, this is the last set, so next one, one, next one, two. Okay, so your, for your final increase, your first single crochet will be your uh, dark brown. For your second single crochet in this stitch, we're switching to the lighter colour. So this is the light brown I was using for his tummy. So um, yes, just change the colour. <clears throat> and you finished your round four. And from now on, we'll be just using this lighter brown, this uh, the colour used for his tummy, for the rest of his foot. Okay, so now using his uh, lighter coloured bands, for the next round, which is round 5, you need a total of 40 stitches. But this isn't your, um, your typical dis evenly distributed stitches. What you want to do first is you want to single crochet in the first 12 stitches. So let's just do that first. So I'll count up to 12. So it's just a single crochet in each stitch for the first 12 stitches. So 1, Next one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so now you've done the 12 single crochets, you need an increase in the next 8 stitches. So it's single crochet, uh, 2 single crochets in each stitch for the next 8 stitches. So I'm just going to count until 8. So every time I see a number, just increase, so there'll be 2 single crochets in each stitch. So this is 1. Make sure to do sing 2 single crochets. Next one. Two, three, four. Six, seven. and eight. Okay, so once you're done with the eight increases, you're going to do a single crochet in each of the remaining stitches, so there should be 12 stitches. Uh, so just one single crochet in each stitch until you finish that round. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, 
10, 11, and last stitch 12. Okay, <clears throat> so for the next four rounds, so rounds six to nine, you'll have to do another four rounds of single crochets. So um, 40 stitches each round for four rounds. So just do a single crochet in each one of the previous stitches four times. So as usual, just put your get your bands ready just so you don't lose track of how many rounds you're doing. So you need four. I'll do the first round with you. So just a single crochet in each one of the stitches. Take a band from here. So I know I'm starting my first round, which is round six. And it's just a single crochet in each stitch. I forgot to mention um, this brown part, his paw pad, is actually bigger than the one on the first one that I made. It's because I thought the one that I first made was a bit too small, so I've made the darker brown a bit bigger. I think it looks better. If you want to make the smaller one, then you can just um, stop on an earlier round. It's up to you where you want to stop, but I think the bigger one looks better. And if you're wondering what color this um, lighter brown I'm using is, it's a, it's not a Rainbow Loom brand band, but I know the Rainbow Loom uh, skin color pack, there's a similar color, but I just don't like picking out colors from multi-packs, so um, that's why I got this one. If you want to make a teal one, you can just use the Rainbow Loom teal color. The off brand that I got for the teal was is, is terrible. I don't like to do loomy groomy with it. It's very difficult to handle. So if you want consistency, just use the teal from Rainbow Loom. Otherwise, if you want to do a blue one, um, I think the closest color to the one I made initially is either navy blue or the jelly navy blue, which is a bit darker. Okay, so now I've finished that 
first round of uh, additional four rounds of single crochets that I needed to do. So that's technically round six done. I'm just going to start round seven by taking a band from here to mark the beginning of my first round. And I'm just going to do the, the remaining three rounds off camera. So pause your video, complete your extra three rounds, and then we'll resume once you're done. Hi guys, so by now you should have completed rounds 6 to 9, which is just a single crochet in each stitch to make uh, 40 stitches for each round. So for round 10, we're going to start decreasing. So um, we're basically going to do the opposite of what we did earlier. So we need first, um, oh, just to let you know it's 32 stitches in this round, we need first a uh, single crochet in the first 12 stitches. So let's just do that first. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <clears throat> okay, so from here, what you want to do is you want to do eight decreases, so over two stitches. So uh, put your hook through the next stitch in the next one. So this is one decrease. And you want to just do eight decreases, so that's one. Another decrease. Two. three, four, oh no I've lost that, hang on, five, Six, seven, and one more, eight. So once you've completed your eight decreases, you're going to do a single crochet in the last remaining 12 stitches of this round. Hang on, let me just get more bands. Okay, so it's just single crochet for the next 12 stitches until you complete the round. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven <clears throat> and twelve. 
Okay, so that's round 10 completed. So uh, moving on to round 11, you need to decrease it further so it's 24 stitches. And what you're going to do to get 24 stitches is a single crochet in the first two stitches and then you decrease over the next two stitches and you do that all the way around. So I'm going to count 1, 2 and then decrease. 1, Two and decrease one, two, decrease. One, two, and decrease. One. Two, decrease, one, two, decrease, One, two, decrease, one, two, Decrease one, two, and last one, decrease okay, so that's round eleven. So for round 12, you need to decrease further to 16 stitches and this is just a single crochet in the first stitch and then you decrease over the next two stitches and you do this all the way around but you'll be changing colour for your last decrease so just stop before your last decrease and then we'll change to his body colour. So I'm just going to count one and decrease. Just to let you know, this is round 12. I'm not too sure whether I mentioned that yet. So, one, decrease. It's quite difficult to decrease actually, so just be careful and take your time. Once again, one and decrease one decrease one Decrease one
decrease one decrease one decrease one <clears throat> and now since I'm on my final decrease I'm changing color to his body color so I'm just taking a teal band and I'm gonna do this decrease with the teal so decrease and body color okay so that's your round 12 done so from now on we'll just be using his body color only so um, yeah just prepare your body color bands so for round 13 what you want to do is you need a round of 16 so it's a single crochet in each one of the stitches but what you want to do is to do a front loop a uh, single crochet only and to do this it's quite simple it's just um, when you turn this on its side that teardrop shape usually when we do a single crochet we put a hook through both of those loops so when you're doing front loop only single crochet what you're going to do is you're only going to put your hook through the first loop so the front one the one on the outside so you still have the back one at the back don't don't hook that so you only have the front loop so um, Yep, just do a normal single crochet here. And for this round, like I said, it's all front loop only single crochets. So for your next one, put your hook through one of those bands only, which is the front one. So you see, leave the other one there and single crochet. And you just want to do this all the way around. Make sure you only do the front loops. So do that again. So only grab the front band, not the back one. And just single crochet all the way around, only grabbing the front band. Okay, so now I've completed round 13. Round 14 will be our last round for his leg. And round 14 is another round of 16, uh, sing uh, 16 stitches. So this time it's just a normal single crochet in each one of the previous stitches. So you just do it as normal. Just make sure you go through the hole and you have that teardrop there. And just a normal single crochet, so nothing fancy. And you just do that all the way around. And you would have uh, completed doing his leg.
Okay, so now I've reached the end of that round. I'm going to fasten off. So go through the first stitch and then just tie a slip knot through both of those stitches. And I'm just, as usual, going to attach the end to a clip just to make sure it doesn't come out. Okay, before we stuff his leg, what we're going to do is we're going to attach his toenails. But the first thing you want to do is you want to just stretch this out a little bit. As you can see, his leg isn't totally round. It's skewed so that this part of the leg is closer to this edge, this part is further. So let's say um, how you want to attach his toenails is you want them at the top here. So if he's lying down or he's sitting, uh, the larger part of his leg is on top. So grab three of your toenails and honestly speaking, attaching the toenails was the most frustrating and difficult part for me for this tutorial. Hopefully it won't be for you. So grab some white bands. <clears throat> So what you want to do first is you want to position his first toenail so let's say right in the middle so that you know where it is so let's say it's here um, you're going to take one of his toenails you're going to just hold it in place and use your hook to go inside his leg and pull that white band down Yes, this part was really fiddly for me. I really hope you don't have as much trouble as I did. Um, okay, so you can't really see. Let me just turn it inside out a bit. So that's the band I pulled through. You want to keep that on your hook. And just to secure his toenail in place, you want to, with that band still on your hook, you want to go back through not sure whether you can see like <clears throat> to the other side of that band and you just want to grab some of the loops in his toenail on the other side you want to take a white band you want to pull that white band through those white loops through the body through the leg and through the band on your hook Okay, like this. As you can see, I've actually made a mistake. I went through those uh, body bands, which you don't want to do, which is why I said this is actually really frustrating. It took me a really long time to actually attach his um, toenails properly. So um, let me just do that again. Like I said, hopefully you won't have as much problem as I am. Okay, so once you're successfully done that, just put your hook through like um, the other side again. Pull this band through and through the band on your hook just to secure it. And this end you can attach a clip onto it. That's one toenail. Oh, really, really tiring and frustrating. Okay, so now from there on you can just position your other two toenails. So it's up to you how, how wide you want them apart. I'm just going to put this one here and attempt to attach this one. So it's just the same thing. Go through the foot, grab the white band, pull it down. Alright, and then go through, go through the other side to hook those white bands, pull up a white band, pull it through everything, oops, as you can see I'm really struggling. <laughs>
oops, sorry, and pull that band through the band on your hook as well. All right, <clears throat> put your hook back through the other side to grab the other side of the band that you're holding. And this one you just want to do a slip knot. And then you just want to attach this to the other side of your clip. Oops, it came out. Don't want that to happen. Okay, so this is the second toenail. And you just want to do that one more time. One more time and we're done for one foot. You still have to do the other. Okay, pull that band. Pull that band through. It's not going through. Hang on. Don't understand why these small attaching things are like oh, so frustrating. Okay, almost there. I know my shot is like kind of all over the place, but I hope you know what I'm doing. My bands are kind of messed up. All right. So I just want to attach this to the clip as well. So it should be holding all three toenail bands, the loose ones anyway. And okay, so this is done your toenails are attached so now you want to stuff him stuff the foot uh, the stuff the leg I mean so um, grab your fiber fill just stuff it you don't it doesn't need to be uh, really tight just enough to keep its shape And now you can see why you had to do that before you stuffed it because it's now going to be a lot more difficult if you do it after. Okay, so um, this is enough for me. I don't want it too, too tightly packed because uh, it's easier to see the stuffing through his foot than with his body as you can see. So okay, you need to go back to the beginning of this video and make another foot because he has two legs. So go back to the beginning and then uh, make another leg and then we'll resume with his head and his face after you've done that. Okay guys, now we're going to make uh, his head. So you want to grab his body colour. So for me it's this teal. And to start off making his head you need a magic ring with eight stitches. So just wrap your band around your hook two times. <clears throat> your first stitch will be a slip stitch. And then you'll have seven single crochets. So that's your first stitch. So just single crochet from here on. Second stitch. It's your third. Your fourth. Your six, seventh, <clears throat> and one more single crochet, eight, 
Okay, so this is your first round. So your second round you need uh, 16 stitches. So 16 stitches is in increased in each one of the previous stitches for um, yep, for one round. So it's just two single crochets in each stitch. Your first stitch for the round will be a slip stitch. So pull this through everything, reclaim the end, put on your marker. And so go back through the same stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. And from now on it's just an increase, so two single crochets in each stitch. I think you should be getting the hang of it by now, so uh, it's pretty easy. You've done this many times if you followed the tutorial all the way. Okay, so this is your last increase for this round. So you've completed round two. Okay, so for round three you need to increase to 24 stitches. And to do that you need a single crochet in the first stitch and increase in the second stitch and you do that all the way around to get 24 stitches in this round. So single crochet. And you want to do an increase in the next stitch. Single crochet. Increase. and single crochet and increase next one single crochet and then increase single crochet increase single crochet increase Single crochet, increase, single crochet, and final stitch, increase. Okay, so this is round 3 done, so for round 4 you need to increase further to 32 stitches. So that's a single crochet in the first 2 stitches and increase in the next one and you do that all the way around. So back through, and counting up to 2 and then I'll say increase. 1 
two. Increase. One. Two. And increase. One. Two. Increase. One. Two. Increase. One. Two. Increase. One, two, increase, one, Two. Increase. So one more set. One. Two. And Increase. So that's <clears throat> round four. So for round five, you need to increase it to 40 stitches. So to get 40 stitches, you need a single crochet in the first three stitches and increase in the next one. And you do that all the way around. So I'll be counting up to three, then I'll say increase. So one. Two, three, and increase. One, two. Three, increase, one, two, Three. Increase. One. Two.
three increase one two three increase one two three increase one two three increase final set one two three and then the last one increase okay so that's round five which has 40 stitches so for round six you need to increase it again to 40 48 stitches and to do that you need to do a single crochet in the first four stitches and you increase in the fifth and you do that all the way around so I'll be counting up to four then I'll say increase one two three four and increase one two three, four, increase, one, Two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase.
one. Okay, hold on, I don't want to use this band, it's a bit different. One. Two. Three. Four. Increase. One. Two. Three. Four. Increase. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. Okay, so that's your round six done, so you need uh, eight more rounds of uh, 48 stitches so that's rounds 7 to 14 so eight rounds of just single crochet in each stitch to make 48 stitches for each round so as usual just prepare your bands so it's three four five six seven eight so I have eight bands here just to keep track of um, how many rounds I'm doing I'll do the first round with you so every time you start a round, just take a band from here to keep track of the rounds you're doing. And you're just going to do single crochet in each stitch. So just continue. Don't take your band from there when you're doing the single crochets. You should know that by now. So this, I'm starting round 7 here.
So now I've completed my <coughs> first round of single crochets, which is technically round seven. So I'm going to start my second round of single crochets. I'm taking a band from here. This is the start of round eight, if you're uh, following it from the beginning. So I'm just going to do the rest of my rounds, so eight until uh, 14 off camera. So just pause the video, complete your rounds. So finish up round 14, it's just single crochets in each stitch. And then we'll just continue the video once you're done with that. Hi guys, okay, so you should have finished uh, up to round 14. So that was a total of eight additional rounds of um, single crochet to have four, with 48 stitches for each round. So we'll continue on with round 15. So round 15 you're going to start decreasing. So for round 15 you need 40 stitches in this. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to do a single crochet in the first four stitches then you're going to decrease over the next two stitches and you do that all the way around. So I will count up to four and I will say decrease. So one Two, three, four, and decrease over the next two stitches. again. One, two, three, four, and decrease again over the next two stitches. One, two, three, four, decrease. Once again, one, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease.
one. Two. Three. Four. And decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. Okay, so this is round 15, and for now we can already start stuffing him. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm pushing this band further down my hook. Take your fibre fill. Uh, you want to do this before the opening gets too small, so just start stuffing. You can stuff more as we continue to um, decrease the rounds. Okay, so I'm just going to stop here. I will add a bit more as I go, but I think I'm happy with that for now. Okay, so for round 16, you're going to decrease to 32 stitches. So that's a single crochet in the first three stitches, and then you're going to decrease over the next two. So let's do that first, and I'll continue to stuff after I've done that round. So, one. Two, three, and decrease. One. Two, three, decrease, one, Two, three, decrease, one, two, Three, decrease, one, two, three, 
decrease one two three decrease one two three decrease one two three decrease Okay, so this is round, <coughs> sorry, round um, 16, sorry about that. So I'm just going to stuff a little bit more. Okay, for now I think I should be happy with that. Okay, now you're going to start round 17, so you're going to decrease to 24 stitches in this round. To do that, it's a single crochet in the first two stitches, then you decrease over the next two. So I'll count two and then we'll say, I'll say decrease. One. Two and decrease one two and decrease. One, two, decrease. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. Someone was, uh, burning firecrackers just outside so uh, I really hope that didn't shock you. <laughs> okay let's continue again. One. Two. And decrease. Okay, I didn't I don't really want to record this part again, so hope you don't mind because of that that noise. One two and decrease.
again. One. Two. And decrease. One. Two. And decrease. One. Two. And last two, decrease. Okay, so now we're starting round 18. So round 18 you need another 24 stitches, so it's a single crochet in each one of the stitches all the way around. And this will be the last round for his head. So just single crochet in each, each stitch. Okay, so that's the end of that round. Uh, we're going to finish off by tying a slip knot through the first stitch. Pull this tight and I'm just going to clip the end and hide this inside the head. Okay, so this is his head. Um, you might want to stuff it a little bit more so it's more round rather than this oval shape, which I might do in a little bit. Um, it's really up to you. It will look better if you stuff it a little bit more, and uh, I think I just might do that. Uh, but in, after this, we'll be making his face, then in the last part, we'll attach everything together. Okay, so now let's make his face. So for his face, you're using the lighter brown or the skin colour you used earlier. So mine is the light, light brown. We're going to start off with making a magic ring with 8 stitches. So as usual, wrap your band around your hook twice. Your first stitch is a slip stitch, or a slip knot. So this counts as one stitch, and the remaining seven stitches are all single crochets. So this is one, while the rest are single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
two three four five six seven and one more single crochet hold on sorry about that eight so this is your magic ring with eight stitches okay so for round two of the face you need 16 stitches so that's an increase in each stitch so uh, just two single crochets in each stitch your first stitch will be a slip knot so this is one back through single crochet so this is your increase next stitch increase so an increase in each stitch Okay, so this is your last increase. Okay, so for round three, the next round, you need 24 stitches. So single crochet in the first stitch, and then you increase to the next one, and you do that all the way around. So first stitch is one single crochet. Next one is an increase. And single crochet. And then increase. And single crochet. And an increase and one single crochet and an increase so Single crochet, increase, oops, single crochet, increase. single crochet increase single crochet and one final increase
Okay, so for round four, you need 32 stitches. What you're going to do first, <clears throat> you're going to do single crochet in the first four stitches. We'll do that first. So I'm just going to count four. So single crochet in the first four. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so after you've done this four single crochets, you need an increase in the next four stitches. So it's two single crochets in each stitch for the next four stitches. So I'm just going to count until four. Each stitch has an increase. So this is one. Increase again. This is two. Increase again. Three. Increase one more time. So this is four. Okay, so after you've done that, then you're going to do a single crochet in the next eight stitches. So just one single crochet in each stitch for the next eight. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. After you've done that, you're going to do another increase in the next four stitches, so two single crochets for the next four stitches. So I'm just going to count four, but each count is an increase. So one, increase again, two, Another increase, three, one more, four. After you've done that, you have four more stitches, so just do a single crochet in the last four stitches. Just one single crochet in each stitch for the last four stitches of this round. Okay, so this is round four. So for round five, you need to increase further to 40 stitches. And to do this, it'll, we'll be doing roughly the same thing. So let's start off. First of all, we need a single crochet in the first six stitches. So just one single crochet in each stitch for first six stitches. So one, Three, four, five, six. Okay, so after you've done that, you need an increase in the next four stitches. So two single crochets in each stitch for four stitches. So one, so this is an increase. Next one is an increase as well. This is two.
next one increase this is three one more increase four okay so what you're going to do after this you want a single crochet in the next 12 stitches so just one single crochet in each stitch for the next 12 stitches so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so after that, you're going to increase in the next four stitches again, so two single crochets in each stitch for four stitches. So increase, this is one, next stitch increase again, this is two, next stitch increase again, this is three, next stitch or the last increase four so once you're done with this for the remaining six stitches of this round you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch so just one single crochet in the remaining six stitches of this round Okay, so you're actually done with your rounds. Now you're going to start start making little um, point on his face. He has two. So um, what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to do a single crochet in the first seven stitches. So just normal single crochets in the first seven stitches. Um, I think you don't really need to bother about... Uh, okay, never mind. Let's just do it anyway. So this is one. I'm just going to mark it anyway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. After you've done that, you're going to do one chain. So pull this band through and just reclaim the end. And you're just going to turn this around. And what you're going to do is you're going to do uh, decreases. So you're just going to decrease over the next two stitches. So um, Yes, you do this three times. Sorry about that. Uh, so decrease here. You've already turned it around if you if uh, you watched me earlier. So for this decrease, it's over these two stitches. Keep this chain on your hook. Reclaim the end. 
and now you pull this band through everything including that chain on your hook so this is one decrease Yes, correct. Sorry, I'm just checking to see whether I'm doing it correctly. Decrease one more time. So, yes, and then one more time. So you should have one more decrease. This is the first stitch that you did just now. So it's correct. That's why it's always useful to have the marker to let you know which is your first stitch. Okay, so once you've done uh, those decreases, what you're going to do is you're going to turn this around again. So if you look properly, you have three stitches. This one, this one, and this, uh, this one which was your chain. So you're going to just decrease over all three. So just put your hook through this one, the second one, and the third one. So you're decreasing over three stitches. This one might be a bit tricky. Yes, I did it. Okay, so um, after you've done this, as you can see, it's a little bit of a point. You want to fasten it off. So to just to fasten it off, um, just go back through your first first stitch, the one with the stitch marker, and then just tie a slip knot. Just tie it tight, you don't really need to uh, clip off the end, I think it should be fine. Okay, so um, now you have a second point, so seeing as this is the first stitch of that round, what you're going to do is you're going to do an, uh, a second point um, starting with the one, this Yes, this stitch right next to the first one. Uh, okay. Sorry, let me just check. Yes. So what you're going to do first is you insert your hook through that stitch. Sorry it's taking me so long. This, this part is a little bit confusing, so I'm just double checking whether I'm doing it correctly. You want to do one chain. And then uh, you want to do a single crochet in this stitch as well. The same stitch as you put that chain. So this is one single crochet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet another six times. So it's basically the same thing as we did on the other side. We did seven here. There's seven here as well. This counts as one. So we're just going to do another six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So do one chain. So pull this band through everything and reclaim the end. And you just want to turn it. So you just want to <clears throat> turn your hook around. Your work around, sorry. And what you're going to do is three decreases. So starting with this, this one, you're going to do a decrease. Decrease. Oops. It came out, so let me just do it again. Decrease again over the next two. And one final decrease. So we've done three decreases, you just want to turn your work around again. So, 
As you can see, there's three stitches again. You just want to decrease over all three. So put your hook through all three stitches. This chain counts as one. So um, pull a band through all three. Reclaim the end. And you pull this through everything. Okay, so um, you've turned your work around. Find your first stitch. This is this one for me. Yes, and just tie a slip knot. Now you're going to make these points a little bit more more robust. So what you're going to do, just ignore this first. Um, actually, you can just tuck it in later. So let's start with this point. The first thing that you want to do is um, just turn it around, might be easier. Put your hook through that very first uh, single crochet previously, this one. Put it through. You're going to chain one. You're going to do another single crochet in the same stitch, so put your hook back through the same stitch. You're going to do one single crochet. Okay, so after you've done that, you want to do uh, three single crochets in the next stitch. So this is basically your point. So um, put your hook through the next stitch, do three single crochets in this stitch. So this is one. Two, three, sorry I told you it was a bit complicated so it's taking me a while. Okay, so for this last stitch just put it in and you're going to do a single crochet. As you can see it's more of a point. So uh, once you're done with this, you're just going to fasten it off. So, uh, let me see, am I happy with that? Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm just going to fasten it off by going through the next single crochet and I'm just going to tie a slip knot through everything. So I know you have two ugly ends there, but when we attach his face, we can hide it so it's not so uh, ugly. If you want, what you can do, which I might do, is just get an S clip and attach both ends of your loose bands to that S clip so it's easier to hide later on. So okay, so we've done this, let's do the other side now. So we want to go through the stitch that has the stitch mark on it. I'm just going to take it off for a while. Yes, go through this stitch and you're just going to do the same thing. So you want to chain one. And in this very same stitch, go back through and you're going to do a single crochet. Right, for your next stitch, this one you're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three, And uh, yes, the next stitch you're going to do one single crochet. And after you've done that, you're just going to fasten it off by just doing a slip knot in the next stitch. Pull it through, reclaim the end, and tie a slip knot. Okay, so once again, the same thing with this. Uh, yep, I'm just going to get an S clip and attach both ends. So we can just hide this a little bit easier when it's time to attach everything. Okay, so this is his face. Uh, when you attach it on, it's going to be a little bit more stretched out. It's a little bit uh, curly here and there because of the, the uneven increases that we did to get this shape but it should look pretty good when you're done with it. So, um, okay, now I'm done with part three. So. Uh, in part 4, we'll be attaching everything, we'll just be making the details on his face and we'll attach everything together and you should be done by then. So I'll see you for part 4 then.